Timeless talk, a friendly encounter at the watch shop. Excuse me, could you help me decide on a watch? I'm looking for something classic. Of course. I'd be happy to help. What's the occasion, if you don't mind me asking? It's for my father's birthday. He loves traditional designs. That's thoughtful of you. We have a variety of classic watches. Are you thinking about a particular brand? Not really. I'm more concerned about the quality and the design. In that case, let's start with these models over here. They are known for their durability and timeless appeal. I like this one with the leather strap. It looks elegant. What can you tell me about its features? That's a great choice. It has a Swiss mechanical movement, sapphire crystal glass, and it's water resistant up to 50 meters. Sounds impressive. How about the warranty? It comes with a five year warranty. Plus, we offer free servicing for the first two years. That's reassuring. How do I go about adjusting the strap? Let me show you. It's quite simple. You can adjust the strap like this, ensuring a perfect fit for your wrist. Perfect. I think my father would love this. I'll take it. Excellent choice. Would you like it gift wrapped? Yes, please. That would be lovely. No problem at all. I'll have it ready for you in a few minutes. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? That would be all, thank you. You've been very helpful. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. I hope your father enjoys his gift. I'm sure he will. Thank you again. Planning a trip to Venice. Hi Isabella, have you ever thought about visiting Venice? Hi Eric. Yes, I've always dreamed of going to Venice. Why do you ask? I was thinking it could be our next adventure. How about planning a trip to Venice? That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to see the canals and the beautiful architecture. Exactly. We could take a gondola ride through the canals. It's one of the most famous things to do there. Oh, a gondola ride sounds so romantic. We should definitely include that. What else should we see? We shouldn't miss Mississippi St. Mark's Square and the Basilica. They say it's breathtaking. Yes, and I'd love to see the Rialto Bridge and the Doge's Palace too. There's so much history there. Absolutely. We could also take a day trip to the nearby islands of Murano and Burano. Murano is famous for its glassmaking. And Burano for its lace and brightly colored houses, right? That would be lovely. Definitely. What do you think about timing? When should we go? I read that spring or early autumn is the best time. The weather is pleasant and it's not too crowded. Sounds perfect. I'll look into flights and accommodation options for us. Great. And I'll start making a list of places we want to visit and things we want to do. Do you think we should learn some basic Italian phrases? It might come in handy. That's a great idea, Eric. 
Knowing how to say please, thank you, and where is the bathroom, in Italian, could be very useful. I'll download an app for us to learn some Italian. It'll be fun. And let's not forget about the food. I can't wait to try authentic Italian pizza, pasta, and gelato. Of course, the food tour is a must. We'll eat our way through Venice. This is going to be such an exciting trip, Eric. Thank you for suggesting it. I'm glad you're on board, Isabella. This will be an unforgettable trip to Venice for both of us. I can't wait. Let's make it the best trip ever. Absolutely, Isabella. Venice, here we come. Exploring movie magic in musical notes. A simple English conversation. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the world of movies and music. I'm Charles. And I'm Linda. Today, we're here to chat about the magic of movies and the power of music, all in simple English for everyone to understand and enjoy. Absolutely, Linda. So, let's kick things off with a question that I'm sure many of you have thought about. Linda, have you watched any good movies lately? Yes, Charles, I recently watched a movie that was not just good, it was fantastic. The storyline was engaging, the characters were compelling, and the music, oh, the music was just magical. That sounds wonderful. What was it about the music that stood out to you? Well, it was how the music perfectly captured the emotions of each scene. It made me feel as if I was part of the story, experiencing everything alongside the characters. Music does have that powerful effect, doesn't it? It can lift a scene to new heights and add depth to the storytelling. Speaking of storytelling, what did you think of the movie's plot? The plot was intricate and thought-provoking. It explored themes of love, adventure, and the importance of friendship. Plus, the way the story unfolded kept me on the edge of my seat. It's amazing how movies can transport us to different worlds and make us feel a wide range of emotions. Now, Linda, if someone wanted to express their enjoyment of a movie in English, what simple phrases could they use? Great question, Charles. They could say, I really liked the movie, or it was fantastic. For something a bit more detailed, they might add, the story was so engaging, or the music in the movie was magical. Perfect. And what if they weren't a fan of the movie? Then they could say, it wasn't my cup of tea, or simply, I didn't enjoy the movie much. It's always good to share honest opinions, but in a polite way. Absolutely, Linda. Now, turning our attention to music, how important do you think music is in movies? Music is incredibly important, Charles. It sets the tone, enhances the mood, and can even become a character in its own right within the story. Well said, Linda. For our viewers, if you're looking to describe the impact of music in a movie, you might say, the music added so much depth to the story, or, the soundtrack was a character all its own. That's right. And we'd love to hear from you all. What movies have you watched recently? And how did the music in those movies make you feel? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We're always excited to hear your opinions and experiences. And if you're looking to improve your English through the world of movies and music, you're in the right place. Remember, simple phrases and honest expressions are a great place to start. Exactly, Linda. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more engaging conversations about movies and music. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Hi Isabella, how are you doing today? Hello Eric, I'm well, thank you. How about you? I'm fine, thanks. I heard you're interested in becoming a tailor at a fashion house. How exciting. Yes, I am. I've always been passionate about fashion and clothing design. Can you give me some advice on how to get started? Of course. First, you need to learn the basic skills of sewing, cutting, and measuring fabrics. I have some experience with sewing and cutting, but I need to improve my measuring skills. Do you know any good resources to learn from? You can find many online tutorials or join a local sewing class to improve your skills. Practice makes perfect. Thanks Eric. That's a good idea. What other skills do you think I should learn to become a successful tailor? You should learn about different types of fabrics, their properties, and how to care for them. Also, understanding various sewing techniques and patterns will be very helpful. That's great advice. How do I find a job at a fashion house once I have the necessary skills? You can start by looking for internships or entry-level positions at fashion houses or clothing stores. Networking is also important, so try to attend fashion events and make connections with people in the industry. Thank you, Eric. What about creating my own fashion portfolio? Do you think that would help me stand out from other candidates? Absolutely! Having a portfolio showcasing your designs, sketches, and completed garments will demonstrate your talent and commitment to potential employers. I'll start working on my portfolio right away. Can you give me some tips on how to make it appealing to fashion house owners? Focus on presenting a variety of styles, fabrics, and techniques in your portfolio. Include high-quality photos of your work and detailed descriptions of the design process. It's also a good idea to include a personal statement that explains your passion for fashion and your career goals. Thank you so much for all the advice, Eric. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, Isabella. I'm sure you'll be a successful tailor at a fashion house in no time. If you have any more questions or need help, feel free to ask me anytime. I definitely will. Thanks again, Eric. Have a great day. You too, Isabella. Good luck and take care. Real Talk, School Days Unveiled with Albert and Fiona Friendship, Classes and Secrets to Enjoying School. Hey Fiona, how's your day been at school? Hey Albert. It's been pretty good, thanks. Had a couple of interesting classes today. How about you? Same here. I actually enjoyed the science project we worked on. Speaking of school, what's your typical day like? Well, it starts with me rushing because I love to catch a few more minutes of sleep. Then, I head to school, and my first stop is usually my locker. What's your morning routine? Oh, I'm an early bird. I get up. Do a quick workout, have breakfast, and head to school. I like to get there early, gives me time to settle in before classes start. Impressive. I should try that. My first class is usually math, and I like it. It wakes my brain up. Math first thing in the morning? That's a strong start. I usually have English. I love how stories can take you to different worlds. True. English is like an adventure. Speaking of which, how do you find lunchtime? That's my adventure time at school. Lunchtime is the best. I get to hang out with friends, and we talk about everything under the sun. Plus, I love the food. Food is definitely a highlight. 
I enjoy sitting outside, soaking up some sun, and catching up with friends. It's like a mini break from the world of classes. Exactly. And what about after school? What's your routine? After school is my creative time. I go to the art club. It's where I can express myself and relax. What do you do? I'm part of the soccer team, so practice takes up most of my afternoons. It's fun and a great way to stay active. Sounds like you have a busy schedule. But it's good to have activities we enjoy, right? Absolutely. It makes school more than just classes and homework. Speaking of which, how do you handle homework and studying? I try to keep a schedule and not leave everything until the last minute. It helps to study a bit every day. And you? Same here. Staying organized is key. Also, I find studying with friends sometimes helps. We learn from each other. True. Friends make school life so much better. They're like your school family. Couldn't agree more. Having good friends at school makes all the difference. It's about sharing moments, helping each other, and growing together. Absolutely. School is not just about learning from books, but from each other. It's where we make memories that last a lifetime. Well said, Fiona. Despite the tests and early mornings, I wouldn't change a thing about school life. Me neither, Albert. It's an adventure every day. And I'm glad we're on this journey together. Same here, Fiona. Here's to more adventures and learning at school. Chill out, exploring the frosty facts of snow and ice. What is snow? Snow is frozen water that falls from the sky in winter. Where do polar bears live? Polar bears live in the Arctic. What do we call a house made of ice? A house made of ice is called an igloo. Why do people wear coats? People wear coats to keep warm. What is the coldest continent? Antarctica is the coldest continent. Can you ski in the summer in Europe? No, you usually cannot ski in the summer in Europe. What is ice? Ice is water that is frozen solid. Why are the poles cold? The poles are cold because they get less sunlight. What sports can you do in the snow? You can ski, snowboard, and sled in the snow. What do we call very cold rain? Very cold rain is called sleet. How do animals stay warm in the cold? Animals stay warm with thick fur or feathers. What is a glacier? A glacier is a large mass of moving ice. Why do we heat our homes? We heat our homes to stay warm in winter. What is frost? Frost is a thin layer of ice on a surface. Do all countries have snow? No, not all countries have snow. What is a snowman? A snowman is a figure made of snow. Why is it cold at night? It is cold at night because the sun is not shining. What is winter? Winter is the coldest season of the year. Can you find icebergs in the ocean? Yes, you can find icebergs in the ocean. What do penguins eat? Penguins eat fish. I hope these examples are useful for your English learning. Thanks for watching.